Welcome guys, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Still waiting for name on the city. So far, right now I have a dress as the 2020 city, hopefully. Oh, that's a nice, I just noticed that was a waterfall there. That's nice. That looks really nice. Anyway, thank you guys for all the support on the channel so far and all the support on the series. It's been going really good so far. You may notice a slight difference in the graphics of the game right now. I had to um, load on graphics a bit because I noticed the last um, last recording session I had a bit of lag at the starting of the episode so I had to drop the graphics a bit so that I have a bit of a smoother recording session. Usually I don't get that much lag but the graphics because I'm recording. Anyway, let's get into the episode today. I'm not sure what exactly we're gonna do today. Let's just check up on the parks first. This level three, we're close to getting level four. Okay. This one is a level two. Almost. Uh, we need some more um stuff in this park. here right so let's see if that does it should have enough yeah we have enough um <coughs> sorry for the noise in the background guys but yeah we have enough um entertainment to get to the next level we just need more in the park. Alright, so the two parks are settled down. Guys, again, if you want to suggest a name for the parks, let me know in the description. Don't, never blah. I can't talk! Down in the uh, comments below. If you have any name suggestions, as you have a slight demand for residential. And rain just started to fall, so if you guys hear that kind of forming in the background, that rain. It's annoying. Let's go out. We have a good bit of money since we put in those parks. Let's go to the... All the way up. Oh, that's not level. And we just hit the we just hit the big tongue milestone. I don't know where that rain decided to come from, but yeah. All right, that was weird. This rain just started to fall really hard in the background. So, yeah, rain. Anyway, back <laughs> to the episode. I'm thinking that I want to extend this down to there. And up there. Now that like a little district on the edge.
a trundy of oh, frick trundy water lines so far we've been sticking with the grid style building method but uh, once we filled up this square we would move on to like a different style once we get across to this side and well obviously we are going to build on the mountain soon hopefully during this episode right we got the water down let's put in the zone and we have high density i just noticed that we have high density so what i'm gonna do this here is gonna be officers side officers and even though it's pollution we're gonna put these guys here as high density start some high density um, areas Right, so now we have some residential building up. We should have the offices soon. Let's get some. For now, let's drop a regular university. I have the campus DLCs. You guys probably already noticed that already. So I might eventually create a campus area. I'm not sure where yet, but soon we'll create a campus area. Let's drop that there. Let's see. Good on that. Elementary schools. We'll need another one. This side. Yeah, I just said that famous phrase. Another one. Yeah. Why? Uh, let's drop. Where can we put this? Let's park there. Put one right there. A public. The, the public um, library. Right, so the rain is gone, so you guys probably could hear me clearly now after that annoying rain. So the worst thing to happen when you're recording and you don't have a soundproof room. Right, so we have some high density residential building up we still have a demand for residential so those would probably fall up very soon dropped a uh, uh, university in the middle there so that we can get some offices here on the seaside <coughs> so far the city has been growing good I'm thinking of how I'm gonna build on the mountain not sure yet this side here you can put an office district not sure what's gonna go on or not I need to do some um, traffic management here so between this episode and the last episode which was yesterday <coughs> I've done a little bit of just having the game run for a while to build up some cash I, that's why I started off with a little less than usual demand. Uh, so, the idea is to turn these guys back to regular avenues. But it's one of the um, mud avenues where they should be able to cross there. The other thing was to switch. Okay, that person is very annoying. The other thing was to switch the directions of these guys. So that it's actually a roundabout. Let's see. Right. right, so that's it's actually a roundabout going around the full. Instead, and um, let's see how that works. Um, in regards to 
did a traffic light, I just noticed that it changed again. the junction just fixed itself there when I did that need management that eased up traffic a lot uh, we should be able to get just thinking about it yikes yeah uh, on uh, the park just level up there should be able to get one of these let's put one on this side uh, squeeze on one right there Right, so now we just get into the, into the annoying garbage issue stuff. But now that we have that, we should solve our garbage issue. So we have some cash on us. Let's buy this this section here. Let's deal with the upgrade of the highway. And let's go to Tulane Highway. As you know, it's a bit more sensible with the junction and stuff. <coughs> right, so our garbage issue that we started to have should be solved. We now have some processing plants. So the garbage. Should now be burnt. These guys should empty out. I have only automatic empty mod and the automatic bulldozed mod, so I don't have to worry about abandoned buildings and emptying the landfills and stuff. Let's see if we actually got. Well, I know we got that. Do we need any... Oh, crap. Right. Wow. We need to put down some stuff up here. Let's see if we can squeeze one in there. Healthcare. Oh wow, healthcare is good but not so good. Let's drop a hospital there. That should do it. Most of the healthcare in the city. Dead care. Okay, it's all right. Let's see. Yeah. And we're out of money for a while. We should get back that cash very soon. So we're getting like three, three thousand every week or so. So as the city grows, when we just hit 8,005 any time now. I just hit 8,005. How close are we to the next milestone? Okay, that's too far. 
Oh frick. 9000 is the next milestone, so... Small city. Uh, the next milestone at 9000. We need to start some public transport. I'm thinking of metros. We have one way in. Into the city right now. Huh. Thinking of metros, but before we add the metros, that's finally. Um. Finally expand across the metro. This one. So I need to expand to the other side of the river. <coughs> yeah. I start building our district off of that. Not sure what I'm putting on this side yet. And there we go, we just had 9,000 small city. All right, nine thousand in our small city. Um, <coughs> we are flying through these milestones very fast, like very very fast. We have a demand for residential, a bit of residential. So we can, in fact, put some residential. Like here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put some residential on this side. Uh, roads. So we go out. 40 units. Usual. 20. And a 40. Now we're getting a bit creative with our um, roads, not sticking to the limitations of the grid style. So this would be like a commercial part, this would be the residential. Start putting in the zones here. Commercial side. Outlined with some offices. Oh, Nature Park just finally reached the five stars, I think. So now we can actually build stuff on the water for the nature reserve. Alright, we need to run water. We already have a water pipe across on the side here. Just run that. Auto save. Annoying. We usually have auto save off, but past experience I've learned to keep auto save on. The game decides to crash at very unfortunate and inconvenient times. Right, so we have the water sort out and simply sort out the power by running across there. 
those guys would connect soon I can force them connect by dropping an elementary school there Now we actually have a bridge, our first bridge in the um, city. Probably build some stuff to guard a shoreline there, but let's see. Let's see, how are we doing on water? Oh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. We need some more water. some more sewage once you keep on the demand the city should grow very fast. We're already at 10,000. Wow. Maybe we hit 10k in a small amount of time. Surprisingly. Alright, let's see. We can extend this road up. Out a bit. Uh, wrong stuff there. Extend this out. It's gonna become a bridge. Oh well. What else can I do? Nothing much. What I can do to stop that from becoming a bridge. That becoming a bridge now, it opens the some opportunities to this light bridge there. Do some interesting zoning. Do some interesting roads parallel and kind of underneath that bridge. That's definitely not gonna work there. zone in here uh, nope no nope, nope. that's not what I wanted it to be but okay you probably have to use more bits here Oops. 
I said just use run and <laughs> keep the engine drop out. into kind of a square there. Uh, I'll probably connect to some stuff down there. Let's see what we can do. Can I at least get a road up there? Without creating. If we can do some crazy roads here. Side of the mountain. So there's a bridge there. Continue. It's along the line. We'll probably continue that road. Oh no, I don't want it to turn to a bridge. Oh, it seems that that's just too steep to get any um, stuff to actually. That there. So. Oh, no bridge. No bridge. Can I join that there? Yes. It's going to be some Tristan thrown in. Why is that deciding to make a tunnel? So I'm making use of the little space that I have on the hill there to probably make a kind of a art style of a residential area. Low density most likely. Let's see how this works. I, I probably have to do the thing like this. Commercial, 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 and the crazy zone that we have here. Put in some commercial. I know they'd even build there, but just in case, you know, City Skyline likes to do stuff like that. so that um, City Skyline doesn't do something crazy and build under the bridge because I use an arcade there. I should remove this one and 
because the city skylines is probably knowing city skylines they're probably gonna do that and I forgot the most important part let's pause the game quick here oh my god what's on fire uh, two little holes down there is on fire let's deal with the water I forgot to actually run pipes down here Crazy water pipes there once I get them all connected. We should be. Now to connect them with power. Connected. connected to the grid. We now have a very interesting hillside. <laughs> wow, that bridge is like ridiculous. Now we have a very interesting hillside. Um, little town, village on the hill. Crazy, crazy to run that road there. That bridge looks ridiculous, but it works. <laughs> and this probably will continue up when I buy this part. That's probably gonna swing around and go that way up the hill. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning into this episode of City Skylines 2020 City name of the city will probably the name of the series will probably change from that I don't know a lot of stuff but thank you guys for tuning in see you guys in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe hit that bell icon so you get notified when I release another episode which should be tomorrow anyway guys see you guys in the next one social media links down in the description peace